Hello everyone. I hope you all are doing very well. And here in this session, we are going to discuss Kendall's coefficient of concordance, which we often represent with the help of alphabet W. Basically, it is a kind of measurement of agreement, right? That if several judges are there and they are going to rate some objects, then whose rank will be more? And what would be the degree of consensus or concordance? Means some objects definitely will be there over which the agreement of judges or persons will be more. And just to measure such kind of measurement that which object is having higher agreement, we can calculate Kendall's coefficient of concordance for that. So a very simple formula is there that is W equal to one minus six into summation of R I square. That is sum of ranking of all the objects, which we are going to explore just further. And here N is total number of objects. So let's take an example. Suppose we have three judges, judge one, judge two, judge three, who are asked to rank their top four favorite books from a list of four books. So let's say there are four books, A, B, C, D, and three judges are there. Judge one, judge two, judge three. So judge one is preferring A object higher. Thereafter, first rank given to A, second rank given to B, third to C, fourth to D. Judge two give book B highest ranking thereafter a second highest c and d judge three again give book a highest rating thereafter b thereafter d thereafter c so question here is what is kendall's coefficient of concordance for this so we are going to calculate it step by step step one is assign ranks assign ranks so first we need to assign ranks to each book based on the judges ranking the book with highest rank that is the most preferred is given the highest number that is for judge one you know for judge one a b c d means a is most preferable d is least preferable right as you can see here so ranked one ranking is highest this highest is ranking a is having highest ranking thereafter b then c then d this ranking one two three four similarly judge two have given ranking like b then a then c then d means for b it is one for a it is two for c it is three for d it is four similarly like that and for judge three judge three given a b d and c that is Book A, first ranking, book B, second ranking, book D, third ranking, book uh, C, fourth ranking. Likewise, this. So this is a step one that we need to assign ranks. All these are ranks that we have assigned. Okay. Now, step two. In step two, we need to calculate sum of ranks for each book. Sum of rank of each book. So for book A, judge one give one first ranking. Judge 2 give second ranking, Judge 3 give again one ranking. So, sum of ranks for book A is 4. Similarly, for book B, it is 5. Similarly, for book C, it is 10. And similarly, for book D, it is 11. So, all these are sum of ranks. All these are sum of ranks of each book across all judges. Now, step 3, calculate Kendall's coefficient of concordance. This is the formula where Ri is sum of ranks for the ith object. N is number of total items that is 4 books. And Ri square is sum of square of ranks of all the items. So, let's calculate. You know that first rank of first book is 4. Rank of uh, sum of uh, rank of second book is 5, 10, 11. So, all if you are doing 4 square plus 5 square, 10 square plus 11 square, the sum of all the uh, squares of ranking of all the books is 262. So, 
वी कैन कैलकुलेट केंडाल्स कोफिशियंट लाइक डब्ल्यू इक्वल टू वन माइनस सिक्स इंटू सम ऑफ सम ऑफ दैट इज आर आई स्क्वेर राइट सम ऑफ रेंक्स ऑफ ऑल द बुक्स स्क्वेर राइट सम ऑफ द स्क्वेर ऑफ रेंक्स ऑफ ऑल द बुक्स माइनस एन इंटू एन प्लस वन का होल स्क्वेर डिवाइड बाय एन इंटू एन स्क्वेर माइनस वन नथिंग एल्स राइट सो जस्ट सब्सटीट्यूट द वैल्यू सिक्स इंटू आर आई स्क्वेर दैट इज टू सिक्सटी टू माइनस एन दैट इज फोर इंटू एन प्लस वन फोर प्लस वन फाइव स्क्वेर डिवाइड बाय एन दैट इज फोर इंटू एन स्क्वेर माइनस वन फाइव स्क्वेर माइनस वन सो इट इज एन इज फोर स्क्वेर सिक्सटीन माइनस वन फिफ्टीन सो द फाइनल रिजल्ट दैट वी आर गोइंग टू गेट हियर इज ट्वेंटी फोर पॉइंट फाइव थ्री एंड हियर वी नीड so ultimately we are going to get kendall's coefficient approximately 0.7547 7547 now what this result interpret what this result interpret so the interpretation is kendall's coefficient range basically from 0 to 1 if the final answer would be 0 it is going to get that there is no agreement overall among the judges Beyond what would be accept, uh, expected by the chance, and one, this one indicates perfect agreement, perfect agreement among all the judges. So here W is equal to zero point seven five four seven. It suggests that a moderate level of agreement among the judges in ranking these books. There is moderate level of agreement. So what we are doing, we are just calculated. the agreement value between all the judges over several books we are having four books here and in judging all these four books what is the ratio of agreement so the ratio of agreement is 0.745 that does mean that there is moderate level of agreement on the given ranking i hope this metric kind of metric which is evaluating the agreement ratio between the different different judges over some objects right so i hope that the kendall's coefficient of concordance is clear to each and every one please do stay tuned and subscribe this channel for more such video lectures and important informative sessions have a very nice day guys jai hind jai bharat